Hey guys, using some uh, old aluminum that came off of another Holiday Rambler. We have buttoned up the front of the RV and using a uh, very aggressive caulk, uh, sealed that off and filled everywhere. You now, I was not trying to make it look super pro, but in the front now we have the plywood going across the bottom. We have the paneling started up into the curve up here. And we're in the middle of installing a window right here. That's just going to be a plexiglass uh, window. That's it. Handmade. I'll make the window myself and install it on the surface and make the inside trim for it. Out here, we still have to finish tucking in some insulation. And you can tell we used salvaged insulation from different places. And now we've got the Luan, the quarter inch, will run the rest of that and cover this up. So this will be insulated, that will, and this will. What we're using here is the metal off of the Go Light trailer. Now, it's a similar style and design as what is on the Rambler. So it actually has the same spacing, except the uh, crease up here is not quite as drastic. So it does look like it will fit. The panel is cut to go uh, over the top of here, all the way down, and we're going to come through right here at this seam, where we're going to just cut it, and it's going to slide behind there and then laugh outward out here and run down there. So I was a little bit liberal with this stuff. Now this is the stuff that I use. It's called Dynaflex 230. It is very very sticky stuff so you don't want to just get this all over you the best thing about it is that when it comes to aluminum and other metals like a lap seal this stuff is impressive it's adhesive as well as being a high quality silicone all right now even though this trailer's got a few dents and dings in it we uh we use this type of a knife here this putty knife multi-tool paint scraper because it's got a very good edge these are just harbor freight things and you'll see that there's a seam right here. Look it up here where the metal goes under and it laps and connects one to the other. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in there like that. And I'm just gonna pop it with my hand. Move it down a little bit. Pop it with my hand. Now, my metal that I'm coming down with will fit underneath this. I'll run it behind here until it gets out here and put like three good strips of that sealant right here. And that's a lot less area for moisture to attempt to get into. Plus it allows me this piece right here, this two by two here to screw to, to make sure it's completely waterproof. All right, now the next step after I've cleaned everything up and covered any holes that might be patch needs, is to take some regular rubbing alcohol. I just grab it some 70% in a rag, and you're gonna wipe the back side of this because that's your overlap, and you're gonna wipe the top of this down, and you'll wipe the outside of this down, and try to reach in if you can and wipe the back of that down. Don't try to destroy all your staples so that the Dynaflex can adhere to it. Now, this aluminum here has already been cleaned. I put it through my steam cleaner so it's clean now our next step is just to clean up and I'll show you how that metal will go up in there and then lap in and we'll shoot it with staples here the rest of it go in with screws so now in this area here just using this little Harbor Freight gun with some one inch staples you take this take it and tap it off because there's no need in it being loose We'll go ahead and staple that one all the way down and the rest of it will be left open. What you see there is you see a completion of another panel. So we have this panel in. This is going to be a blanked out wall. That one over there will have a window in it. I'll show you that process too. And I've just put a heavy layer of that seal it on the top of this original old trim now this trailer is not going out to go try to win no contest 
its main goal is to not rot and carry all my tooling so that's its main goal and that's what it's going to achieve so uh, beautiful it is not solid as a rock most definitely but it's giving you an idea how we do the metal here all right now over here we have the eight inch galvanized and what we do with it is we just run it on the base here just like so and we let it overhang now the reason we're doing that is so that we can kind of fold the edge under after we put some one inch foam so we let it go down two inches past and it also covers all of this old material we also really layer it down with some sealant uh, silicone um, adhesive it's an adhesive silicone uh, I guess you could call it um, the grabber uh, we use the, the grabber because it works good on metal as well as uh, other things so Loctite grabber we'll put it uh, all over the sides of this stick it on there and then hit it with a few staples and then the other piece will go back on after we've reattached this lower half the other piece will go back on so it kind of goes over all of that and then it leaves that metal here this metal which is 28 gauge it leaves it hanging past so like where the outriggers are at we'll just split it and fold it in on both sides put a little bit of sealant on both sides of that and that will cause uh, the styrofoam to stay underneath with the mesh because we use a, a chicken mesh basically put a little piece of that and put the screws with the big washers on it that go up and our floor is about that thick this is sitting on this but there's another half inch sitting on top of this three quarters so however here's your finish point up here that metal will go in just like that and the other the old panel will go back and we'll just tamp and bend and seal everything back as best we can the idea is waterproof the next thing is putting the door in I'll show you that and then y'all come back for video I believe this is video six y'all come back for video seven and we're going to show you the insides because we'll have the outside finished we'll show you the insides and how they're being laid out on this big old holiday rambler cargo trailer conversion the uh, door is now in so the trailer now has its door with a deadbolt and a regular lock very nice setup it's a big Pacific door and uh, right there and it is in it is a nice clean install and that door is the original door came to about right here so we added six inches width of the door and got it installed. Now the next thing we're going to do is start patching these little small holes and all these, all these down here. We've worked our way all the way down now to where we're to this point. And we have the trailer in good condition for what it's worth for the next stage of closing in this end down here on both sides. This is the metal from the Golite. It's very similar to the metal that is on the Rambler. I'm gonna give you a side view. And it's filling the voids extremely well, doing a good job of it. So we have plenty of metal left over from the Golite. And the next thing we're gonna work on now is installing this. This is just a piece of galvanized drip edge. And we will be putting it right up here above the door. So it'll go about two inches on both sides of the door there. Surface mounted. And what that does is that just keeps down any kind of water wicking that you might get because the top gaskets on these doors, for some reason, always fail first. Possibly from ice and things getting up in there. But that is the next thing to do. But y'all catch us on the next video. We're gonna show you these all patched up. The fenders, making out of three inch, just regular angle, uh, 16th wall. I'll just make a set of fenders out of that so it'll come up three inches and mount to the studs inside and be a heavy seal on that. 
and the fenders will just have a curved cut and they'll go down. So that's what we're going to have here. And out here where these are at, I'm just going to weld on a piece of diamond plate and extend that into the rod that's inside here. And it'll come out looking pretty nice and solid. But here we go. There, there's your Humble Day Rambler. Getting her done. One step at a time, guys. We'll see y'all in the next one.